Hello, YouTubers. Um, this is my Ruger SR40C, and there's no magazine in it, and it's not loaded. And I've had this gun for about two weeks, and I've been looking for a holster for it. And I don't know if I want a concealed or if I want an inside the waistband holster or a pocket carry holster. So I've been searching the internet and in my searches I found a guy that used this to make a holster. It's a mouse pad <laughs> of all things. And basically you take your gun and the mouse pad has uh, a real tacky rubbery side to it and a real smooth side. Well you put the smooth side over your gun kind of like that and then I put a, a few staples in here just to hold it then I stitched along my gun to get a good fit and this is what I ended up with. This is just made out of a mouse pad and it fits my gun perfectly. Uh, the trigger is covered. The nice thing about this holster is that here's the safety on my gun and if I wanted to I could take the safety off while the gun's still in my pocket. I don't think I'd want to do that. <laughs> uh, the only time I'd be drawing this gun hopefully is in a defensive situation and that's probably the time when my height's going to be pumping a million miles a minute and I'd rather keep the safety on until I got the gun out of the holster then simply flick the safety off. Okay. But I thought I would share this with you and I've tried this in my pants pocket and it works. Uh, the holster stays in the pocket when I draw the gun out and if if I like this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this for a few days. If I like this, I'll, I'll end up buying, you know, a, a inside the, the pocket holster. But this gives me the opportunity to try one without having to go out and buy one. And I didn't want to buy a holster and not have it be the right kind of holster. That's why I wanted to try. Uh, I, I'm glad I have a chance to try uh, a pocket holster before I go out and buy one. So again, a simple mouse pad, <laughs> kind of wrap your gun around it, and I stitched it by hand all the way along the bottom and up to just uh, where my barrel ends, and then I came back along the bottom of my gun and I stitched it from here over to right about there. And that keeps the gun very solid. In other words, the holster doesn't cant up and down on my gun. The holster is held, and my gun are both held level. And it's very secure. And the gun goes in very easy. Everything's covered that should be covered. But when I have my hand in my pocket, I can still get my hand on the grip to get a good purchase to pull the gun out. And I have a good purchase on the gun when I pull it out. So I thought I would share that with you. And again, I don't take the credit for this idea. There was another fella on YouTube that did the same thing, but he had some kind of a um, screwy little gun and he just used staples to staple everything together. Uh, I wanted something a little more permanent, so I stitched the little stitching on the gun. Again, stitching goes along the bottom, up to here, 
Then I came back down here and I just went in a little bit right to the beginning. There's my trigger guard. Starts right there. So I stopped at the trigger guard because this, this part down here is already tight at the bottom. This is the bottom of my trigger guard. And this is the top of the gun. So there's no give right here. This is this is in here pretty tight. Okay. But once I get to the edge of the trigger guard, see the give in there? So I just stitched at the bottom of the barrel. In fact, if I put it like this, you could probably see. If I line it up. I'm trying to do this backwards though. Everything is backwards. Kind of like that. You can see the stitching that goes right along here. That's the bottom of the barrel, from the end of the barrel to, to the beginning of the trigger guard. So that's it. And basically it's ambidextrous, <laughs> so if you're a left-hander it would work also. And again, the gun fits it perfectly. And as I was sewing this, I first stitched along the bottom and then I went up or I went along the bottom and then I went up to the top. Then I put and I didn't have the gun in when I did that. Then I put the gun in to determine where I wanted this stitching right here to come in. So I put the gun in and then I took and, and I, I put one stitch in. Okay, then I kind of took took the a holster out, and I put a few more stitches in there. Then I put the gun in again, and I've you know I wanted to feel where I wanted to put the stitches in to get a good tight, pretty pretty uh, snug fit on this portion where it's holding the barrel right here. And it took me maybe an hour to sew this together, but. It works. <laughs> so I thought I'd share that with you for whatever it's worth in case you're thinking about some kind of a pocket holster and you you know before you run out and spend the money on one try making one of these for the you know cost of a mouse pad. I had four or five mouse pads laying around so it's it was no big deal for me to put one together. So I shot it I thought I'd share that with you. I'm about 5'10 and 200 pounds. I could afford to lose a little bit, but and this shirt, this sweatshirt is pretty form-fitting. But right now, I've got the gun inside the waistband. They call it a clipless inside the waistband holster. And the gun comes out very easy. If I if I had to draw it, it's out. But putting it back in, I can't get it back in the holster now. I have to take the holster out to put the gun back in. If I had to put if I had to get rid of the gun in a hurry to conceal it again, I would just drop it in my front pocket with the safety on. Okay. And it fits nicely in the front pocket of my jeans without the holster. No one would even know it's there. Okay. Okay. Now I have the gun in my front pocket. But is it in this pocket or is it in this pocket? Well, it's not in this pocket. It's in this pocket. Okay. And it comes out pretty easy. But now to get it back in, I have to take the holster out Safety's on. Put the gun back in the holster. Kind of scrunch everything down inside the jeans. Okay. Is 
there. You wouldn't know that it's there. Again, you, you're not, it's not a quick draw artist, but it comes out pretty fast. <laughs> and the holster stays in the pocket. And I could experiment with different cuts on the holster. I could experiment removing some of this excess down here at the bottom to see if that made any kind of a difference. But uh, it has a couple of different possibilities and at least it gives me the, the chance to experiment uh, with holsters without buying one. But once I decide on what I want, whether it's inside the waistband or pocket carry, then I'll go out and I'll buy a good holster. But for now, uh, this allows me to play a little bit. I could actually cut some uh, slots on the back to put a belt through it and use it as an outside the waistband holster riding high on the hip by just cutting some slots here and then running a belt through that. Okay, So I'm just experimenting and experimenting is fun.